This book is called Poppy Please Hide and Seek. It says Poppy and Hugo love playing at the park. Let's play hide and seek, said Hugo. I'll teach you how to play. Poppy, you go hide so I cannot see you. Poppy hopped onto the seesaw and covered up her eyes. You can't see me, but I. But that doesn't mean I can't see you, laughed Hugo. Poppy tried again. The flowers have white parts just like me. Perfect. I'll blend right in. Um, Poppy, you're right there, said Hugo. Poppy hid behind the swings. Hugo won't find me here. Better called Hugo. I can only see half of you now. Poppy hid behind the bouncy horse. Even better, said Hugo, but it's still kind of easy to find you. said Poppy. I'll try again. Ready or not, here I come. Hugo looked high and low in the bushes, in the um, tower. He peeked through the tunnel, he crawled under the bridge, he ran over the sandbox. He found lots of interesting things, but none of them were poppy. Until I 
Wow, popped Poppy. Good job hiding, Poppy. I had a great teacher, Hugo. Hugo is teaching Poppy how to play hide and seek. But she needs help. Can Poppy become a better hider? Thank you guys for watching. This book is from KiwiCo.com. It says awesomeness for all innovators of all ages. And on Facebook, you'll all play. Poppy plays hide and seek. Bye. Thank you. What was your favorite part? I like the part where he looks inside the tunnel, the wooden tunnel. Because not anybody could hide high. You know? They have a bubble maker right there. And there's a squirrel right there. A ladybug by the sand castle. Or the sandbox. Huh.